the NFL season's over, well, the NFL season's back on again because it's franchise tag season. It is. And I don't know how, what to make of the franchise tag season because it always seems like there's one or two guys that get it that you're like, that doesn't make sense. That's a little interesting. But this year in the NFL, it, there's a lot of slam dunks and a lot of questions where you go, all right, how do they want to attack this? Because you have the guys like Saquon Barkley in New York. Franchise them last year, $10 million. Mm-hmm. It's going to be $12 million tag this year. Which doesn't sound like an, a lot, but that's a, that's a full like guaranteed roster spot to a solid player. And he's 27 years old, though. And, and he's dinged up. He's dinged up, and your offensive line was not very good last mm. year. Your quarterback position was all over the place because Daniel Jones got hurt. And are they in win-now mode? That That is a big one. You don't want to bring a guy back if you're sitting there and you're going, ah, well, two years ago was an aberration. We kind of got lucky, and we fell f- face first into a playoff game. This year, you need Saquon Barkley if you're going to win. But are they in that window where they say we can unseat Dallas, Philly, and the rest of the players in the NFC? I'm going to go on a limb and say no, because the no. Giants, like we said back then, number one, should have franchise tagged Daniel Jones if you're going to worry about keeping him. Because when they were upset about that, and rightfully so. It's... They overpaid for a quarterback. By they, I mean the other players on the team. Yes, and and they overpaid a quarterback that is going to hold them back for years, in my opinion. <clears throat> I, I, it, it's not Russell Wilson bad, but it's close. Ah, it's nowhere near Russell Wilson. Well, no, no, bad. the impact, but I'm talking about the, his level. The financial impact is not as bad. I'm talking about his play. Oh, uh, he's he's not awful. You got other issues, though, because... But you have so much money committed to a player who's not awful. Like, but is it really that much money? Yeah, his his, his, defer, like his first year was like 20. It goes up to like 40-something. Yeah? He, I remember his cap impact. It had a pretty nasty but, impact over the next couple of years. But for your starting quarterback, is he a guy that's going to win you a Super Bowl? No. No. And you're paying him that much. But his cap number is going to be... 47 this year, 41, and then 58 in 2026, which is a real restructure. My God. Think of what Dak Prescott is. Dak Prescott's going to get $60 million. 59. So you're you're saying in two years, he's going to get the same number as Dak Prescott. But the in, cap's going to go up, all those kind of it's things. Gonna, but you restructure. You, no, his is restructure city. You know what you're doing. Yeah, but you only have so many years to restructure his. His isn't like a yeah. ten year deal. Well, I know, but we look at we always talk about this in like these these cap numbers are egregious. It's it, remember insane. his was fully guaranteed. I wonder what his is going to be when you think of look at quarterback position. Look at the position at quarterback, um, and then we'll hold on. Let me look that up here real quick. What his total cap hip is going is going to be. Deshaun Watson, $63 million. Yeah, again, Dak egregious. Is, Dak is already at 59 Ugh. Patrick Mahomes at 58 Totally Kyler, fine. Kyler Murray at 51 Gross. Matthew Stafford at 49 Worth it. They won a Super Bowl. And then you have Daniel Jones at 47 <laughs> One of those is not like the other, Dusty. Well, Kyler Murray. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you at least understood the talent yeah. perspective of it, as dumb as it was because he's a head case. But... You've got Super Bowl winning quarterback Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl winning quarterback Matthew Stafford. Like, he drops all the way down to twelve in twenty twenty five for cap hits. Jones. Yep. Okay, so that's that. That's where the sweet spot is. Is and next the, year. But this then is it where. Back but up. this is what we t- what we talk about. Then you restructure his deal and it softens the blow a little bit. That's that's the way that this goes when we talk about quarterback pay. Which means at some point in time, if you restructure, if they restructure it again, he'd have a year where he's making like 70. Uh, Well, you just kick his the can down. That's what I'm saying. You don't because he doesn't have like a 10 year deal. And remember they gave him his, what was almost, almost entirely guaranteed. If it wasn't fully guaranteed, it was a massive number. I don't think I, it was fully a uh, $160 million contract, uh, 92 guaranteed. Yeah. That's a, of 160. That's a big number. Yeah. I mean, because because if, if 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 they've only done twenty and then twelve, that means they've got to find another sixty in there in two years. The, and that's with a restructure. Your restructure yeah. year is this after this year. You have your potential out where you could have very little impact. It'll just be dead cap. 
but it's very but it's very little when you think of the way because you can none of that all that guaranteed money once you pay them into signing bonuses you restructure after this year well yeah if you, and you if move they, that they, money around then it does not it, it's not as punitive but he's definitely not one of those top five quarterbacks in league. He, he's not a top 10 quarterback. He's, he's top middle 15. of the road. I, and that is where, that's where they made the mistake yes. last year. But at the same time, everybody's going to mock them and make fun of them. If they franchise tag Daniel Jones and he went out and he got hurt like he did. I mean, there's no win for the New York Giants. I would say year. though, though, if they had done that, think about the position they're in right now with no quarterback. Well, I mean, you rinse your hands of it and, Yes, but you're also your your cap looks phenomenal going forward. They have got a lot more issues mm-hmm. than just that. And that's, what, and that's what I'm saying though. If you all of a sudden your cap sheet looks that clean and you've you didn't have your quarterback either way. Yeah. You don't have your quarterback either way. So you have to address that. You have to address your offensive line. You have to address your defense. I think it's a lot easier to do when you don't have a cap sheet that has a, a massive hit on it. They they currently have 26 million dollars. To work with right now, which is middle of the middle, middle of the pack, and in, in so, the so they would probably be number one without Jones. I don't know. Well, Twenty Commanders more? have got eighty-five million dollars. That's true. They forgot they they structured it to where they have nobody. Patriots this year. have seventy-four yeah. million. Titans have seventy-two. Bears have seventy. Colts have sixty-six. Oh, that's right. The, like Tan- they got a. There's a lot I, of teams. I forgot with a Henry, ton of money. Henry and Tannehill both fall off. This there's year the a Titans. ton of money yeah, for those, a lot that, of teams to spend. This having year. your top two payrolls coming off your salary. Is very 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 helpful for your books. Free agency. It's gonna be weird. Is gonna. There's a lot of teams that are gonna spend. Gerard Mayo in New England's saying, uh, "We're gonna spend money." The Commanders are, "We're gonna spend money." There's See, that's be the one I believe. Those are the teams that are just gonna. You you, you don't win in free agency in the NFL. And that, yeah, like, you don't. Like, you, you, you no, don't, you don't. You and that's the thing is, I believe the Commanders will screw it up and they're gonna spend money. But I think if they go, if they if they find their way and they get Caleb at number two, they're gonna go out and spend money and they're gonna put weapons around him. And there's, like, could you imagine a T. Higgins, who is one of those guys that could be franchise tagged here by the Bengals? Yeah, which I think they do, and they keep they keep, they keep T. T. Higgins because in, he's along Mar- alongside Jamar Chase, and you have the weapons for Joe Burrow to work mm-hmm. with, and then you can continue to build Kick your offensive line, build up on the defensive side with your draft capital, and not hamper yourself from from becoming a winner. The Bengals don't have a whole heck of a lot of money to spend, um, so. Use it. Use the money that you do have. Use it now while on you got T. it. Higgins, yeah. and then boom. When all of the cap hits start coming for Chase and Burrow, you're gonna be in a far better situation. I, I think that's a no brainer. I think the tough one is with Kansas it's, City, to be yeah, honest. You have a decision between Chris Jones and Lajarius Sneed, and it's Whoa. not which player do you like. It's well, the cap hit for a franchise tag for Chris Jones is. Thirty-two million, and this is where I think <laughs> you look at Chris Jones and you you heard what he said at the Super Bowl parade. I think this few this, drinks were indicative of, of of said words. This one is probably going to go to Legarius Sneed, their mm-hmm. their franchise tag, and then you go and you go down the road with Chris Jones and say, "Hey, that was twenty-two million sound." And then you see if he'll he'll be willing to play ball. But that goes back to just building a a dynasty and how dynasties are built. You got to have those guys that do take the discount to stick around. And that's because if you look at Sneed, if they were to, to do that, they give Jones 22 million Sneed's franchise tag would be 18. So that's 40 million. Oof. Okay. Between those two, or you could just have Chris Jones at 32 by himself. And then try to convince the Jerry Sneed to best take, corner in the NFL to that take four million a year. That the Commanders, the Patriots, the Titans, the Bears are not going to throw all of the money at. They're going to give him probably ten million a year. <laughs> Which in the NFL, you take the money and run because their deals aren't fully guaranteed. And that position, there is everybody talks paying more than twenty. I don't understand this. I we talk about the shelf life of running backs. Why do we not talk about the shelf life of corners anymore? Because they fall off a cliff. I think it's just a, a not, because they're all they're all young. You look at I think he gets more than ten because you look at Trayvon Diggs, who's you know, nineteen. Is it that high? He's for corners? fourth. I guess I just did, I did say eighteen. So he's the fourth highest paid corner in the NFL. <laughs> you, you put him probably in six, sixteen need, sixteen to eighteen over years, and you well. It depends on the guarantee. Probably looking at more. If you look, if you if you got four forty eight and it's guaranteed, oof. 
which I think that's probably what he'd be looking at. But they, they're not going to guarantee a corner salary. And that's, no. and that's why I'm saying, like, it depends on the guarantee. Like, if you could get 12 mil a year for four years yeah. guaranteed, you take that and that's run. That's wild. But this is also the beauty of the NFL. Here we are coming out of President's Day weekend. The NBA just had their all-star game. And we're talking NFL franchise tags. And they dominate. They, their calendar is set perfectly where they will dominate every cycle. And look, this is going to tell you what the Kansas City Chiefs are going to do in free agency. This is going to tell us it what, what the Baltimore do. Ravens are going to be doing in free agency because uh, what, what's it? I always screw his name up. Justin Metab- Metabuke, the uh, defensive tackle. Oh, the defensive tackle. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. that guy's. They franchise tag him, and this teams teams get weary of hitting that franchise tag because it is the average of what the top four. Josh players. Allen with the, with the Jaguars, they're, they're, there's legitimate. They think they could lose him, and and he had a phenomenal. If you're not watching the AFC South, Josh Allen was one of the best pass rushers in the league because it can year. screw your books up oh. for, for the long term, especially when you have Trevor Lawrence that you're looking at. You're going to have to pay him in a couple of years, and in that same division, Michael Pittman Jr. Whoop who's an absolute dude, and you want to have somebody for AR, for Anthony Richardson to throw to. So you, you, you've you got these things that you need to balance and, and figure out, and it's like, you start, what's interesting is it feels like there's not many that, there's not that many guys this go around. There's not. The franchise tag. Because there aren't. There, there aren't very many guys that they are going to invest that money in because teams have gotten smart and they lock them up early. And you look at teams that have multiple guys that have a tag, you're either run poorly or you're in a position like the Kansas City Chiefs where you're coming off Super Bowl and you know everybody's going to get paid so you have to pick and choose which guy you want to hold on to uh, the the dearest and for me I think it's going to be you you the Jerry Sneed he's the best corner in the game right now and then you sit there and you go all right Chris we know that we've gone through this with you before. We'll do right by you. How much you want to win? How much did you mean it when we were having a parade and you said you're going to come back? And it's easy to say something when it's when it's deal. when it's not when the pen isn't in your hand. I think the best news out of all of this though is that Vikings apparently are not going to give Kirk Cousins fully a guaranteed, guaranteed money. He should not have it. No, he shouldn't have. No, it. You come off an Achilles? No, he yeah. should have never had it in the first place. You like that? <laughs> No. You like that? A lot of Viking fans say no. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it should be no. Please, God, don't let him go to the Raiders. Please, God, don't let him go to the Raiders. Oh, he's going to. And he's going to be he's going to be sitting there like, Vegas is family-oriented now. <laughs> That'd be the greatest timeline, just Jimmy G and Kirk Cousins and, yeah. Yay. Why, why do you wish this on me? <laughs> he's going to be going down the zip line on, on Fremont. And uh, meanwhile, all Raiders fans are just no, no, strong no. That that's like what, yeah. That's what my no. brain is doing right now. 